everyone, my name is Jean Marino and I'm a women's health nurse practitioner. I've been practicing in Cleveland, Ohio for the last 10 years and my two areas of specialty are menopause and women's sexual health. One of the most common questions I get asked is about hormone testing. Should we be doing it? What are we looking for? How do we interpret those lab values? Do we need labs in order to diagnose perimenopause and menopause? Do we need labs in order to determine what dose of hormone therapy somebody needs? In the June issue of Women's Health Care, a clinical journal for NPs and the official journal for NPWH, I am answering that question, is hormone testing necessary? I'm going to do this by looking at three specific patient scenarios. Our first patient is perimenopausal. She's skipping some cycles. She's having some bothersome symptoms. She had an FSH and an estrogen level checked and they were both elevated. But she needs you to interpret that and to decide, is she a good candidate for hormone therapy? Our second patient has been amenorrheic for the last six years, ever since her progesterone releasing IUD was placed. And she's starting to not sleep well. She's feeling warmer than usual. She doesn't know if that counts as a hot flash or not. And her question to you is, how is she ever going to know if, if she's in menopause or not? Does she even need this IUD? But she wants you to be really certain that she's menopausal before you take that IUD out because she doesn't want an unplanned pregnancy. And our last patient is menopausal. She stopped her periods over a year ago. She was started on hormone therapy six months ago and initially she felt great. And now she comes to your office complaining of an increase in hot flashes. And she wants to know, should you check her hormones to see what dose she needs of hormone therapy? So to find the answers to these questions and what the evidence has to say about hormone testing, look for that article coming up soon. Thank you.